Hi, I'm JD and welcome to my drum tutorial. This video is going to give you the basics for drum recording. It may seem confusing at times, but it's really not that hard to understand. We're not talking about stuff that's going to be used in specific programs. This is very, very general uh, knowledge that has been used in audio recording for several years. Now understand that my way is not the only way. I'm definitely an amateur. I just started this 10 months ago. If you hear a professional say something that contradicts what I say, listen to them instead of me. Um, the problem that I see with a lot of, of videos that, that tell you how to do things on drums is that they either insult your intelligence. Hey y'all, we're going to talk about recording drums today. See, to record drums, what you need is this right here. This is called a microphone, and the sound goes in here, and it comes out right, he right here. Or they completely talk over your head. The quantum behavior of the audiocardioid device I hold within my phalanges can be best attributed to the molecular dissonant electrons colliding with each microscopic phason transfiguration particle to synthesize a sympathetic tertiary rebound and is represented most accurately by the equation shown on your screen. I want this to be a very straightforward beginner's guide. Uh, just the basic stuff that you need to know to get a good drum sound. Um, basically, I want this video to be what I wish I had 10 months ago when I started recording drums. Now, understand that nothing I tell you can't be found on the internet. I'm not very, very well versed in, in drum recording. I just know what works for me, and that's what I plan on telling you in this video. To give you an idea of what I'm going for, um, I like a really solid sound, powerful sound, but I like for it to have tone and I like the drums to sound very cohesive and as one instrument. Good examples are um, Mike Portnoy, I love the way his drums sound most of the time. Gavin Harrison, who I think is a ridiculously good drummer, is, is he's got some really good sound of drums too. And Todd Sukerman of Styx has some great drums. All these guys have drums that have enough definition when they play fast figures but enough tone that it still sounds good when you play slower stuff or less busy stuff. Now for equipment that you're going to need to record drums, you're going to need your drums, obviously. You're going to need microphones, obviously. You're going to need cables that run from the microphones to either a mixer or your recording device. You're going to need a recording device, uh, which actually records the sound, and then um, you're going to need something that processes the sound, and I mentioned a mixer. You've got either pre-processing or post-processing. Um, if you're doing pre-processing, your mics are going to run, the cables are going to run to your mixer, and you're actually going to process the sound before it gets to the recording device. With post-processing, usually you'd run mics straight to your computer um, with the unaltered sound, and then you would process it after you've actually recorded the sound, and not while you're recording the sound. 